Hello and welcome to Bosch Power Tools. Today we have with us GSB 120LI. As you know, GSB stands for Professional Impact Drill. 120 stands because this works on a 12 volt platform. LI stands for lithium ion. So it comes in a hard box. As you can see, this is pretty solid hard box that you can carry it to the work site. Um, this has got a B connected sticker with the QR code, which means that you can scan the QR code to find the genuinity of the product that's inside, right? And um, it also has a sticker over here, uh, which mentions it is 33% uh, more. Uh, so what it's trying to tell is the previous, uh, the previous series of batteries were at 1.5 ampere hour. The current ones are at 2 ampere hour. So that's, that's what it indicates that it's got 33% more charging or charge holding capacity available in the kit, right? Yeah. Then coming on to the uh, labeling on this side. So let's see what's available. Very clearly mentioned that this is operating on a 12 volt. So as we all know that, okay. Uh, this has got the two, char uh, two batteries here. So that's mentioned and it's got a charger that's mentioned as well. And the most important thing is it's got some extra accessories that can be used for multiple uh, works that we want to do. And the accessories are 23 pieces. Uh, they, they are, they are uh, packaged in two different pouches. So as we open it, we'll see that inside. So let's unbox uh, GSB 120LI and see what's inside the box. <coughs> Here we open it. First, um, what you get is a service center directory. Then there is a warranty card, there is a user manual, and there is a user manual for the charger, right? So that's the stationery that we have. Um, right inside is the tool, there we go. So that's the tool, and that's the extra battery. So there is one battery with the tool, <coughs> and there's one battery extra. Charger, <coughs> keep it here. And then we have two pouches, as I told you, one and two. <coughs> um, this has got screwdriver bits. I'm just opening it up for you. So different kinds of screwdriver bits. And this is the holder for the screwdriver bits, all right? So both of them coming in the same pouch. So what do we get apart from this is the other pouch. Now let's open this and see. Okay, so there you go. So this is all got uh, drill bits. Uh, so drill bits for wood, drill bits for masonry, and the drill bits for metal. So you can call this as a drill bit pouch and you can call this as a screwdriver bit pouch. So this is smaller and this is, obviously this is bigger. So, so this is what um, is the spread of things that's given to us in this box. So let's talk about the tool, uh, GSB 120, 120 LI. So after the unboxing, we have seen that this is what we get in the whole kit. Uh, you can see as this is the charger and the battery mounted. So the blinking suggests that the battery is in the charging mode, which means the battery is getting charged. As the battery gets totally charged, uh, the blinking would stop and this will go into a full glow, which means the green light will be on full glow for a long duration, which means the battery is fully charged. So whenever the full glow happens, uh, suggest you to disengage the battery and switch off the terminal, okay, for all safety reasons, all right? Yeah. So let's pick this up and uh, right, ready to work. So um, this is a great tool. Um, uh, this is also called as a cordless combi. Uh, the reason why we call this as a cordless combi is. This can do screw driving application as well as drilling applications. So when I'm talking about the drilling application, this can drill in wood, metal, and also masonry, which means a brick wall, all right? So that's the added feature that it has got. And screw driving, of course, it's got different torque settings for various kinds of screw driving applications that you want to do. So a QR code mentioned at the back, so that you can scan and register into B connected. Okay, so that option is always available. So as you press the trigger, so you see the light comes over. So which means even in the dark spaces, it's going to illuminate it so that you can do the work in the 
dark or shadow places, right? This has got a torque setting from 0 to uh, 20. Uh, that's the torque setting we have. You can see that here. Okay. So this gives a maximum torque on soft material, soft torque as well as the hard torque. Uh, it changes from 14 to 30. So 14 is what you get on the, what is the soft torque, maximum soft torque and 30 is what you get as a maximum hard torque. So as you can see, uh, it's got two gears, gear one and gear two. So gear one is always preferred uh, because it's going to give you a lower RPM. So you can always use for drilling in larger diameter holes. So gear one is recommended. And uh, gear two is recommended if you're drilling on a smaller diameter and also on a lighter metal where the drilling can be faster. So that's the application of this. The impact rate of uh, on the impact mode is 22,500 beat, uh, beats per minute. So that's the kind of our, uh, the impact that it is generated, okay. And uh, the capacity of the chuck is 10 mm chuck, so that's the maximum capacity. And uh, the torque setting is what we call as 10 plus 2, which means uh, if you see here, it's on the screw driving mode. So on the screw driving mode, uh, you can take 20 torque settings, all right. So it starts from Z 1, 5, then 10. 15 goes maximum up to 20. So you can choose based on the application that you do. Apart from there, are, there are two more settings and that's here. And this is what is called as simple drilling mode. So you can only drill in metal and wood with this mode. Okay. And uh, it does not give any impact. But when you come to the impact mode, you see this hammer sign here. So this is the mode that is very, very uh, key when you want to work on a masonry or a brick wall. So it always has to be on this hammering mode or the impact mode, all right? And it's only in that mode that you can drill into a wall or a masonry object, right? And um, here, as you press the trigger, the RPM keeps changing. You see it's a variable speed, all right? Yeah. And this is for forward reverse, which means uh, this is for screw driving inward and also screw driving backward. So this switch plays dual role of forward and backward. Yeah. And of course, you can always look at the grip. So this has got rubberized grip for uh, firm holding when you're trying to do in elevated places or stretch places. So you get a firm grip on the palm. So with the tool, um, it's got a range with which you can work. And there are different kinds of drill bits that you can use. Um, on wood, this can go up to 20 meter, uh, 20 mm, uh, diameter in wood. On steel, it can go about 10 mm diameter and on regular masonry, it can go about 8 mm. That's more than sufficient for the regular work that you have. And similarly on screws, uh, it can take about 8 mm screws. So that's the kind of uh, specs that we have on this tool. Yeah, so we come to the accessories next. All right. So as I told you, so this pouch has got screwdriver bits. Here we go. And then this is the adapter. All right. And next comes the drill bit pouch. Let's open it. All right. So as you can see here, so on this side, the first four, there are actually uh, four plus four plus four. There are 12 uh, different kinds of drill bits. The first ones with a pointed tip, these are all for wood. Okay. The second one, which is more silverish in color. So this is all for brick wall or masonry. Again, the one on the uh, leftmost side, this is all meant for metal, all right? So, so we have four plus four plus four, so 12 drill bits for various kinds of applications. And uh, these can take care of most of the needs that we have on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? So these accessories can cater to most of the applications that we have on daily basis. So now we'll drill um, into the brick wall. So this is GSB 120 as we know, so we're drilling into the brick wall here. And let's see what happens. As you can see, this is an aerated block. So we will drill into this material. The previous one we did was on a brick wall. Now this is going into the aerated blocks, right? You can see this here. So 
So now with GSB 120, uh, so we will drill in wood as we know we can drill in metal, wood and uh, brick. So we will try drilling in wood. Uh, so what I picked up here is a 10 mm uh, wood drill bit. So let's do this. So we'll do a screwdriving application now with GSB 120. So uh, we pick up this from the kit that is given inside. So here you have different kinds of screwdriver bits. Okay. And uh, so this is the magnetic uh, tool holder. So we put the PH2 into this and then we do some screwdriving with the screws. All right, so it's set. So let's pick up a screw and do this. So with GSB 120, um, so we are drilling into metal sheet. So Let's do this application. I have a metal drill bit here and I have changed the mode to simple drilling mode. So let's try to uh, address some of the FAQs of uh, uh, GSB 120. Uh, so the first FAQ that we have out here is uh, can it work in brick or concrete or what or what material can it work? Uh, well, yes. Uh, so the very nomenclature is GSB, which means it's a professional impact drill. All right. So whenever we say it's a professional impact drill, we are saying that this is suitable for masonry. Uh, masonry means it's suitable for a brick wall. Right. Let's be very clear. It's only brick wall. This tool cannot drill in concrete period right so what are the other materials that it can do uh, that's on the civil uh, structures as i told you this can work on a brick wall this can work on aerated concrete which is called as the acc blocks so these two and also the corning bricks so these are the three materials on which this impact drill can work beautifully right so so these are the three materials on which the impact drill GSB 120 is going to work and it will work very satisfactorily on these uh, three base materials. Right? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, the next question that keeps coming to us is uh, tell us more about the modes that we have on the impact drill that's GSB 120. So please be aware. Uh, so there are three modes. Uh, the modes are out here. All right. And there is this torque setting. So both of them can move simultaneously. This is one movement and this is the other movement. All right. Yeah. So first and foremost is you need to select what you are drilling on uh, or screwdriving on. So the first one that it speaks of is the hammer mode. So you see the logo here of an hammer. So which means it is activated for the impact mechanism. So at this mode, you can always drill in a brick wall, ACC wall, as well as a corning brick. So that is the hammer sign that we have here. So the next sign that we go is, <coughs> this is a simple drill mode. You can see a simple drill bit. So when I'm putting this in a simple drill mode, so this can drill in wood and this can also drill in metal. So that's what you select the simple drill mode for. The third mode that you get over here is the screwdriver. You can see a screwdriver a screw uh, being displayed here. So on this mode is when you can do all the screwdriving activities. So what you do when you pick up a screwdriving activity is you can change the torque. That is the next circular thing that you have. The torque can change from 1, it can go to the highest of 
20. So, these are the different sort torque settings that you have and based on the torque setting you can do various kinds of applications. So, in case <coughs> you need to drill into a hardened metal uh, or wood always prefer a torque setting of 20. If you are drilling into a lighter material maybe a torque setting of 1 to 10 would be sufficient and that is how you select the different modes and different torque settings for the application. Um, we have also seen in the past that most of our customers tend to use uh, GSB 120 uh, to drill into concrete and uh, it is not the right thing to do. Okay? Uh, because when you are drilling in concrete you need to buy not GSB uh, series, but you need to buy GBH. I am saying this again you need to buy Bosch GBH series of hammers to drill into concrete and that is where you get the optimal and the finest drilling in concrete.